From one single prompt, this new AI tool can build a full website for you from scratch, personalize some cold emails for reaching out to influencers or businesses, create videos such as Instagram Reels, South Park episodes with its own audio, and even call people for reservations for bookings at a restaurant, for example. In this video, I'll go over three different examples, how you can get set up, create your own account, and get going with some of the credits that they already have inbuilt. Awesome, so this new tool is called GenSpark AI, and it works the exact same way as Manus does. Whereas ChatGPT, Gemini, all of those kind of tools are just a straight language model, I can put some text in, I can put some images back, and it will return some text and images. These ones actually have, basically, their own virtual computer. So that means they can edit files, look through documents, research into things on the web, and then also call a lot of other AI tools to generate video or audio. And they can kind of do this by first setting up a checklist of tasks that they need to accomplish, and then going through and making sure that they're keeping on track to meet that entire end goal. So you can sign up for a free account of GenSpark and you get some limited credits, and you can pretty much just go ahead and ask it anything you'd like. Um, and then we'll go over quickly three different examples here. So this is one around influencers trying to create some videos for their Instagram stories. And this is a really simple prompt they put in about this recipe that they want to make for their codfish. And they want to put a nice Instagram story out there and fully AI generated. So again, that's a really, really simple prompt. You can put a lot more information in there, but you can see how it goes away. It does some searching on what the actual recipe is how to cook it, all this kind of stuff. And we can see it makes a full recipe here, which is good. Go back through, and this is the really cool part. So it starts using the tool to actually create videos. And so that hooks into Google's one, OpenAI's one, Sora, or any of those ones, and it kind of chooses the best one to go forward. And we can see this is using uh, Google's Gemini VO2. And so for each step that it has here, um, it will go through and create that video and then we'll see it also creates the audio. So we can see going through with the limes it looks like, grating it, squeezing over the fish, some pistachios in there, mixing it all up, etc. And this, again, this is all AI generated, all really, really fast. And the image quality, the video quality on here is really, really good. So that's pretty cool. And we can go all the way through here. And then it gives you a bunch of links to the videos and then even gives you some captions for if you're gonna post it, which is pretty cool. And even some editing tips for transitions, music, text overlays, speed, all of that kind of information. And then it goes away and uses Eleven Labs, which is a really popular AI tool for creating audio content. And it just generates some text uh, to describe what audio should be made. And then uses that AI tool to make that audio, which is really cool. And so we can go down through here and then it has the output video and the output audio. Next really cool thing is it makes a website to demonstrate what it would look like actually on um, Instagram itself. So we click here and we have this preview, Chef Influencer, and we can see it going through and just showing that. And you should hopefully be able to hear the sound on that, but it doesn't look like there's any sound. Looks like the sound was there, which is really, really quiet. So you should be able to hear it now, the sizzling, and then obviously the hands moving on it. Um, and it'll just go through and show what it would look like. And that sound is really, really cool. Again, it's not perfect, neither is the video, but it's just a proof of concept of how well these kind of tools are moving along and how fast it's going. So that's the kind of the demonstration for the AI generated kind of influencer stories. Um, we can go and look at the next one now. So as I was talking about before, this is for um, doing some cold email outreach. If I want to find an uh, influencer, I've got this fashion brand, I need to find people to promote my brand, and I want to make it personal. If I don't send them a generic email, they probably won't respond. So I've asked it, go away, do 10 fashion influencers with the specifications of followers, find their emails, etc. And it will go away and start looking for those people. So you can see all the different tools it uses between capturing the screen information and just going up and searching for information. And it goes away and creates this website here, which is just an overview of all the different people that it's found, which is pretty cool. 
If we go even further down, we want to edit it a little bit further, and then we can create this website here. Um, we want to basically have it all linked together, and I can just go in here and copy and paste it into my email, and then go send those away. And so then for the one, two, three, four, five, six, originally it was 10, looks like it's cut down, uh, maybe because they didn't have enough information, but I can go in here, grab the email, grab the subject, grab the email body, and you can see that it is catered to that person, which is pretty cool. And so you have to provide a little bit more information around what you're doing, and it can craft that email for you. If you're using Mail2, you can just copy that straight through, and you don't have to copy each individual part, which is pretty awesome as well. And again, you can go back through, edit this for your own brand, your business, whatever. It's all fully customizable to you, which is really cool. The last cool one I want to show you is creating a South Park episode, which is one of their example ones. It does the exact same process as the influencer one, and it's just creating a South Park episode around news that's happened this week. And so for this one, it's just chosen to look at, I think it's the Donald Trump and the group chat leak or something along those lines, and it goes through, creates a whole script, creates the visuals for it, puts it on a website, has a look at the um, previous lots of South Park episodes to obviously create a new one, and then it comes out with this output website as well, and it's a pretty cool little website. You can go in here and you can select which different scene they're in, and it's got a different script for each one. And then if you Did you guys play, see the news about that video. defense guy who texted their war plans to some reporter? It, yeah, my dad wouldn't stop talking about it. He said it's the dumbest security breach ever. It's hilarious. The government is run by complete autards. Move, 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 move. Yeah, so again, no, you wouldn't, Carl. You can't is really even keep cool your own secrets. That's a going. goddamn lie, Stan. Um, the last one I couldn't show you is the actual voice calling of people. Um, unfortunately, it can't do any calls in New Zealand. I'm based in New Zealand, but it can do calls in America, um, USA, Canada, and I think Japan. Um, so it'd be really cool if someone could try that out and give it a go and let me know what they think. But yeah, this is just a really cool tool that's come out. Same as Manus, there's no waiting to get into it. You can just sign up, but the credits are limited. Really curious to see what you guys uh, can do and any use cases you can find. Uh, leave a like and subscribe because I just post heaps of stuff around AI. So if you find this useful, let me know. Thank you very much. Have a good one.